Hey, Assalamualaikum guys and welcome back to my channel. You guys will be watching my updated face makeup face routine um, in a minute. But before that, I'm just gonna say uh, hello to new subscribers. Um, don't forget to thumbs up the video if you guys enjoy it and subscribe down below. And it's gonna be a talk through video. So yep, I managed to do a talk through. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. And this is like my my new style of wearing to <laughs> I call it the Elsa to do. I guess because it has this one or maybe the Rapunzel to do. It has this one long thing here, kind and it's wet because I just drank water. So yeah, if you guys like this video, you guys have to give it a big thumbs up. Um, subscribe down below as I repeated myself. And don't forget to spread the love. And yes, I'll see you guys soon. Till then, XXO Nami. Bye-bye. Assalamualaikum. And today, I'll be doing a updated face routine. So I did my eyes already. As you guys can see, and my brows. So let's just get on to my face. I'll be using my favorite primer which is the Nivea Mint um, Post Shave Balm. I did talk about this on my July's favorite. I'll be putting down the link down below or on the card button on top and you guys can see my July's favorite. So I'll be just using this first. Ugh. Then I'll move on to my next primer. So I have two primers. Um, I'll be using the Australian Cialia Pores. For this primer, the Nivea Man After Shave Primer, uh, this is like to make my makeup last longer, while this is actually to fill my pores. So I'll be using quite a bit. And I'll just put it on my pores area, which is around my nose. My, a little bit on my forehead. As you guys can tell, I'm not having a very nice eyebrow day. Then moving on, um, and I'll just go straight to my uh, foundation. So I'll be using the Australis O2 Glow foundation. It's vegan friendly and I'm in the shade 12 because it has number 12 below there. Because it doesn't have any color code or, I mean it doesn't have any color shade. It just has a number 12 there. So I guess that's the color code lah. So I'm just going to use this. Okay, I'm just going to put it on my... Oh, sorry about this. On my thumb, about one and a half thumb. Or two full palms. Because you know me, I'm the girl who loves coverage. I love my coverage so much. And then I'm just going to use my finger to dot it all over my face. And I really, I know it's very risky for me to wear a white hijab while doing a tutorial. Let's just hope I don't really, I don't get makeup on my hijab. Okay. Okay. And I'll be using my beauty blender. Sorry, it's very dirty, but uh, it's already damp. And it's so huge. So I'm just going to... Uh, uh, just gonna dab it all over my face like so um i'm not really a beauty blender girl because i don't really like using beauty blender but uh, but ever since i tried it out you know like try and error thing um, I started to love it because before this I used my beauty blender dry I know it's supposed to be very I mean it's supposed to use it in wet or damp I mean damp not wet damp but I'm just too lazy to go to the kitchen and basahkan beauty blender oh well 
But since yesterday I had a meeting, um, so I thought of using a beauty blender. I know it's very risky also because you know you have an important meeting and you want to try something new. Then you use a beauty blender and you doesn't know how it will turn out to be. So then I wet it. I like I damped it and then I use my my foundation and I'm like, hmm. I love how this turns out to be. So I think this would be in my August favorite. Okay, then with that, now I'm gonna use my concealer to conceal my <sighs> dark circles problem. So I'm using the Maybelline Instant H Rewind Erase Dark Circle. I'm in the color medium moyenne. So I'm just gonna put it under my eyes like that. Oh yeah, talking about the important meeting yesterday, um, I had meeting with, um, if you guys follow the Spendless Cosmetic, you guys might see my face on their Facebook channel, eh, on their Facebook channel, on their Facebook page yesterday, because uh, we had a meeting for the SG influencers, so yeah, if you guys want to know more about it, um, you guys just stay tuned. And I might just do like a giveaway. And you guys know that they have launched their new what is that called beauty box. So we did talk about the beauty box and everything yesterday. So yeah, it's very exciting. It's something new. Um if you guys wanna know more about this, just stay tuned. Uh inshallah I'll be updating you guys when there's news about it. So, yes, uh, shout out to uh, my crazy girl, Ikinman, for actually making me the pass one and uh, making me the pass one for yesterday. So, yeah. So, yeah, it turns out to be. To be and there's crazy. a story about me and Ikin. We actually does not We haven't met each other before until yesterday was the first meeting and we happened to be living in the same area but still tak pernah jumpa we just knew each other from youtube and yesterday was like the first meeting and um all i can say is that dodo gila finish so yeah both of us are crazy we can click along very well even though it's our first time meeting and it seems like we are like much I'm long lost friend even though it's only the first time meeting and I repeat that again but really she's very fun she's very crazy extremely crazy and yeah she's very pretty yeah she's very pretty I love her lashes at first I thought that her lashes was like fake but it's real I saw it for myself yesterday and I'm like your lashes are real. Then for my under eyes as per normal, I'm gonna bake with this Maybelline. Um, what is it called? Loose powder. Her lashes are like extremely long. If you guys, if you guys watch her videos, you guys should check her out. You guys see her tutorial, and you guys would thought that she's actually wearing a um fake lashes, but then she's not. She that's her real lashes. Okay. So yeah, I'm just going to bake under my eyes and then while that's baking, I'm just going to cream contour my face. I know, I'm supposed to do that before but yeah, whatever. Then, yes, I'm talking about cream contour. I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Toast. And, uh, that's a lot. I'm just going to contour fish face. Wait. Mm. Okay, that's a lot. You can see my hair. You can see my hair. So I'm just gonna bake under my contour just now. And now I look like a Santa Claus with a beard on my nose. Hey, so then I'm just gonna um swipe off the big powder baking powder <laughs> the 
the one that I baked under my eyes earlier on. So I'm just going to sort that off because it's been too long and I don't really like to put the powder for so long. For some reason I just don't like. Okay. Then, while that is, while this and this is baking, I'll just do my under eyes. Then I'm just going to swipe off this. Okay, that's like the updated um, kind of face routine is that if you guys usually follow me right and watch my videos um, Usually after foundation I will bake after I bake then I will use face powder But I haven't even used any face powder. I still have cream products on my face I just bake under my eyes and on my the areas that I bake just now Lastly then I will use my face powder so uh, it actually makes my like for example my cream contour, my bronzer, my blushes stay longer. So right now I'm just going to bronze my face with the e.l.f. And this one in the color San Lucas. Oh uh, yeah, San Lucas. So I'm just going to use this bronzing color. It actually comes with the blusher but I can't use the blush because it's very fair, very light. And it doesn't really come out on my face. So I'm just going to use this brush, my favorite, favorite, favorite brush. And I'm just going to light bronzy face. This is I'm going to bronze my face and then I'm just going to use my blusher. Um, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Blushing Rose. As you can see, it's like my favorite because... I've been using this like all the while. So yes. Then I'm just gonna brush on my cheekbones. Then I'm gonna highlight my face. Um, I'm using the nope. I have a new product, highlighting product. This is the Australia's High Life Highlighting Powder. Uh, yeah. It's very kind of like subtle kind of um, highlighter. It's not like... It's not like this. You guys can see the difference. This is like very boom. But this is suitable for every day. Okay. So I'm just going to use this. I'm using it on my fine brush. And lately, I have been so into highlighting. Like, mm, look at that. Look at how nice it looks. Cintik kan? Yes, cintik. Then I'm just going to use on my... Pictures my picture my chun on my nose, my forehead, nose again, my chin, my cupid's bow. Uh, yep, I'm done. And this is like my updated face routine with my blush. I forgot to mention that after I do all of that, I'm just gonna use my face powder. This is the Sephora um, press powder. And I'm just going to dust it, especially on my oily area, on my T-zone. And then what's left on the brush, I'm just going to apply it all over my face. And then that's all. Last, the last step is that I'm going to use my fixing spray from Freedom, which is this one. And I'm just going to spray it all over my face. Okay, now for your...